the Milwaukee results are in. Chosen best in fishing is Milwaukee Offshore Fishing Charters. Relax on Lake Michigan's wide open water and enjoy a true fishing adventure. At Milwaukee Offshore Fishing Charters, we have fun and catch huge king salmon and trout. We use high-tech lures and equipment to ensure the most fish every trip. We have three custom fishing boats that can handle large groups. Children welcome. Call now, 414-553-9800, 414-553-9800, or visit us at MilwaukeeOffshoreFishing.com. Book now. Alrighty, folks, we are back here at the 2024 Derby City Classic here in Elizabeth, Indiana at Caesars <laughs> South. Is it, what, you know, I don't even you know, know. I always want to, I, I want to call it Caesars Palace for some reason. Yeah, you know? right. I, but it's I just part I of the Caesars. I don't think we're not in Vegas right now. No, I wouldn't mind being in Caesars Vegas. Caesars right Southern now. Indiana, I think they call it or whatever it is. But anyway. We are here for a match against Zachary McKee and Nick Dirion. We're, we're at the Derby City Classic. That's where we are. That's where we are. Where's Nick from? I didn't ask him. I forgot. I meant to ask him. Uh, but Michigan? You in Michigan? No. I'm not sure. No. All right. Zach gets one for Zachary. One on the board already. After Nick won the flip and dry broke. Just a quick synopsis of what our scoreboard is, what it entails down at the very bottom. If you look at our outer point streaming logo, on either side you've got the number three, which is the race. Uh, first one of three wins the match. And then the little gray, light gray boxes are the running ball count. Uh, first to get five balls obviously wins the game. And then on the very outside is the total games won. So as you can see, Nick already made two balls. So that's Zachary. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. We'll, we'll get there. It's gonna be a long day already. <laughs> yeah. So Zachary made two balls. So the light gray box has two in it. We're so both we're th we're both going on very little sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Derby. Hey, but we're not doing the fun part: gambling and playing pool. No, there's no gambling here. Okay, we'll play. You pool. didn't know that. <laughs> But yeah. actually, I shouldn't say we're not doing the fun. We are doing the fun part. I this is this is fun. This is fun. Hobnobbing with the pros, you know, had some. Yeah, you know, it, it's had some fabulous matches on our stream so far. It's amazing how you actually just you know talk to these guys and they're all down to earth and they put their pants on the same way I do. Well, exactly. I, I their pants are just a little more expensive than my my sweats. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. So 
I don't know if uh, did you look? Is this round two of the draw, or is this still the first round? Two. Oh, this two. As you can actually see on there to see if like anybody's bought back in. <coughs> I don't know if either of these guys have bought back in or no. Okay. I'll give you this view here, a little better view of. So he's taking the option for the nine ball in the lower left corner. And again, from the screen, it, it's tough looking at the screen and seeing if that ball actually goes. Because by the screen, it looks like, man, that's a tight pocket. But actually, looking from this end here, it looks like it's got plenty of room to get there, which I think he, oh, close, close, very close. Heck of, heck of, heck of, he had a lot of room to spare you. Yeah, he did. Look how long bridge. You see that? How long this bridge is? First opportunity to table. Getting a little short on that bank. Exactly. He's taking a look if he can throw this eight ball back or not. Even to throw it back. Be tight to fit it in that pocket without running into the nine or clipping the nine ball. He might be able to do it. That's that's tough one. Yeah, he, he's even kind of saying to himself, yeah, I'm not quite sure of this one here. All right, Zach missing that bank in the side there. Just missed it, just off by just a tad bit. Not, not really leaving Nick a whole lot here. Can't bank the five ball back. I wonder if he can kind of see. Oh, he can't even see that two. He can see the three ball, but <coughs> yeah, I think he's opting to play safe here. Give you this overhead view to give you a little bit better view of what he's going to do. A little bit of a stretch there. So he just opted to bring that uh, five ball back down table and leave the cue ball up on the rail there. Put a lot of distance between The cue ball and the object ball for Zachary. And as they call the three ball back up here in the upper right hand corner. Opted for the two ball up. Sorry, we were discussing our our, our one of our next matches up. So five ball coming back back across the table in the side pocket here. Looks like he can see it. And just a little short. Call a two ball back in the upper right hand corner. I'm thinking is what uh, the five ball that can't go. Yep, that's what he called. 
five ball would have to just about bank right there to get in the car. So he's opting for the two ball in the upper right hand corner. ball back in the side. Now we're in a little long. First one a little short, that one a little bit long. I think the next one's going to be dead in the pocket. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's usually where it goes. So I was talking to him before, and he was saying that all the tables downstairs were banking a little short. I was wasn't quite sure why, but it took a little while to get an adjustment to. So thinking that he's going to take a little time here, get adjusted, and dead center. Factory's opting to take this three ball back across table, side pocket. A little long there as well. Well, we did not lose much for uh, Nick coming on onto the table here. Tied up that two and three ball. Five balls are really the only ball out in the open here. And there's not really many pockets for that to get into. So Nick opted to play a safe and just push that eight ball over into the pocket a little more and leave that cue ball down there. Let's see if Zachary wants to uh, attempt to be aggressive here. Called side pocket, so he's looking to go on two rails. Two rails into the side pocket with the five ball. Mm. Oh. Got away with that. He didn't want to knock that nine ball in. Well, it really wouldn't have much mattered because there was really no ball that was available to go in that pocket regardless. Two ball back up table here, upper right hand corner. Are you looking at the table on the screen? I'm going to give you this look right here. It's a little better look. He's got plenty of room to come down table and come right back up. Yeah. I did see him call a pocket, but I'm assuming. Yeah, that's where he was going. Well, that's a good way to get safe. <laughs> Nick 
like opting for safety, put that cue ball up here at the other end of the table. Yep, two rails, side pocket is the call. shot that was fantastic <laughs> and that is it for the first game all right, Zachary taking down game number one. Zachary's coming to play. No kidding. I believe I'm going to head over to the uh, Fargo. Let's see where Fargo is. I have not heard of this young gentleman before. I haven't. I either. probably should have. Maybe I don't know. From Ohio. Six seventy nine. I think he can play a little bit, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, that one was with authority. Joe's busy on his phone again. Yes, sir. What? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. He opted for a safe. He didn't really have much. <coughs> Give a shot here to Nick. See if he wants to be how aggressive he wants to be. Does that eight ball look like it goes? Nope. Nope. Not at all. Right behind the back shot, safe. At my age, I'm not even sure I could do that anymore. I think <laughs> I'd need like shoulder replacement or end up in traction or something. Did you see the seven two rails or the side? Ah, uh, three in the side. Mm -hmm. That's creative. <coughs> Two or four on the side, cross side. Set up for the seven on the opposite side. Little long.
one on one. Slide that one in the back of the cup. Well, I mean, sometimes you got to take the break out of it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> hit it hard. Depending on which way the felt is laying. Well. The way it's going to break. Yeah, mm. I, and, and the wind plays a little bit of a factor in here. Got the fans on high. Good thing we don't have rain, though. Ceiling stop open. That would be, that'd be hard. It'd be even worse if it was snowing in here, like outside. <laughs> <laughs> and five degrees. Yeah, a little short on the five. Oh, I think that four got in the way for a possible eight. Top left on the three ball. Mm -hmm. I think Nick's figured out the rails. Opting for a safe, a safe here. Oh no, he went for that. Wow, what a great shot! Wow, that was pretty fantastic. That was pretty spectacular. <coughs> Little short on that one. Just you don't have to get personal. A little too much spin, I think, on that. No reason to get personal. It's all about personality. Drained it. So while we're sitting here with this match here, I'd like to put out a big shout out to our sponsors that helped us get down here. Well, one of our sponsors. So uh, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. Oh, thought he thought he had it. I'm a little surprised by that. Uh, Inside Pool Magazine. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. So thank you to Autumn. Thank you to Tracy Lerma. Autumn, Gr I know it's Gris, Gris, Grichella. 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 Autumn Grichella, Tracy Lerma, <coughs> and then, of course, the one and only. The shine. Shine, bald-headed Eddie Altman. <laughs> It wasn't for all those fine folks, we wouldn't even be sitting here at Derby, so we can't thank you guys enough. Then on top of it, to get us here, we had the Peace Shower Group, Peace Shower Custom Cues, Joe, John Peace Shower, Joe, Joe, or Joe, P, yeah, Joe Peace Shower, Steve Douglas, and Riley Peace Shower. Thank you, thank you all for the generous donation of a cue to raffle off to help all the expenses. And then Mark Scafidi from Milwaukee. Oh, man. I not that missed was by going. much. No. It did not. Milwaukee Offshore Fishing Charters. If you're ever in the Milwaukee area in Wisconsin, 
Look him up. He has got a, I think, three boats and takes you out on Lake Michigan and uh, offers you some of the best biting fish. Lake trout. I think salmon come up that way. Oh, look at Shot that. Nick. Look at that. Um, <coughs> but just a fantastic time. You get a bunch of your friends together, group of buddies, group of women. Hey, give them a call if you're in the Milwaukee area. Set up a fishing charter with them, and if you set up a fishing charter and mention Outer Point Streaming, you're gonna what? get a, you're gonna get a special gift. No uh, way! Once you actually get to your charter and use your charter, so mention Outer Point Streaming. Yeah, yeah he's short on a claw. Oh, careful! Ooh. Uh. Um. <coughs> Let's see, and then uh, if you mention Little Cheddar, you get it. Even you littler, get, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get nothing. <laughs> and then the Maynard Ebert. Hey, Bear. Ebert. Hey, Bear. All right. <laughs> Maynard A. Bear. Uh, who is, if you need any financial or uh, insurance inf uh, insurance needs, whether I think it's, c I think he does commercial and personal, uh, feel free to give him a call. We will put up the information of all of our sponsors so you can see it once again. Nice shot. And he bumped the six. Yeah. Oh, you wanna, he didn't want to bump it that far. He just wanted to get off the rail a little bit. <coughs> that was very well played. While he is thinking about this shot, I'm going to put this information up here for you. Colonial Life Maynard. There's his information right there for all your in insurance needs. Give him a call. And I think that it doesn't matter if you're Wisconsin or not. He uh, I think he deals nationwide, so feel free to give him a call. But again, please support our sponsors. It's greatly appreciated because the more they get, s the more they get supported, the more they'll be willing to support us and, and help us on our uh, our journey into bigger and better days. Uh oh, Oof. people almost followed followed it in. <coughs> But also, if you happen to run across them, thank them for their support from us. We certainly appreciate it. All righty, Nick takes the second game. We got, uh, nope, he, he one to one. One one. I know, oh, yeah, he, he yeah, took the second, second game. game. Um, he kind of looked at that ball like he was, like he was where he wanted to go with it, <laughs> you <right>. know, didn't he? <laughs> like, where do I put this cue ball? <laughs> I thought, uh, looked at the score, I'm like, I'm pretty sure it was four. So, one to one. Rack number three is just underway. This is a pretty good start. That's good beat surfing. Ball back cross, cross side. Spun that really nicely. He would have liked to hold up a little higher on that for the three ball on the side, but he's going to take it anyway. Maybe an eight ball. What about the eight ball? Wow. Just missed it by a little bit. Both outer points. This is going to get a nick of great opportunity. Get a few balls here. Four ball, stop it right there. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know if that one ball is going to get one ball past this. One ball is. Yep. I do believe it does. Looks like it. It does. Yep. Pretty easily. I think uh, I think you hit <coughs> the nail on the head before, Brian. Um, Nick has figured out the rail. Yes, sir, he has. Mm -hmm. That think. is four <laughs> in a row. And two ball. Hit it hard. Right back in that side pocket. Oh. That was a pretty good run. Absolutely. Got him on the hill for this game. Dale and I are having the lunch of champions today. <laughs> you know, honestly, this is this is the best I've eaten in right. the last 24, actually 40, 36 hours. We've got Kit Kats. We've just got wait until they come down from the sugar high. <laughs> yeah. Reese's peanut butter cups and some beef jerky. Yeah, beef jerky. So And root beer. It's a good day at Derby. <laughs> you should really be here. If any of our viewers have not been here before to Derby, I'm telling you, you as a pool player, this is the holy grail. It's a bucket list for me. Absolutely. <coughs> You know, that was pretty close to getting that three rail in. I was telling my wife before I left that, you know, if I do become expired cheese after this, after Derby, I will have lived a good life. Fulfilled the fantasies. Yeah, this is this is it. Yeah, a little long on that one. He was playing that as a two-way shot, I think. <coughs> Get that cue ball back down by the end of the table there. If he made it, great. He wins the game. If not, he leaves it tough. And he left it tough. Showing the three ball over there. Upper right. Yeah, I don't, I don't see him going after the two there very well. <coughs> wow, that was Did miss by much. Eight ball. Cross or side. Two or the two. Or the two, yeah. Two for the win. I'm just it's it is a small I it or nah. It, it's still you have to make it to win anyway. I mean if you if you hit the nine, oh, and he did not hit the nine. Wow, good shot. If you hit the nine, it wouldn't have. Yeah. It Very nicely bad. done. Nick up two to one. Yeah, Nick can play a little bit. Yeah, it seems <laughs> that way. <laughs> seems like he's found a little bit of stroke in there. Losing the first game to Zachary and now up two to one on the hill. Uh oh, he's drawing that cue ball right in the corner. Okay. Pretty close. Yeah, that was lucky it did not fall. Nine ball, bottom right. <coughs> Trying to get that other view for you guys. But 
You know what's funny about this, Brian, is we've been here for two and a half days, and neither one of us have even picked up a pool cue. Nope. <laughs> haven't hit a ball. We're, sur well, we're surrounded by pool tables and balls, and we haven't. We've picked up our pool cues to bring them here. So you had to <laughs> put them back in the closet. Uh -huh. Bring them here, set them down here, pick them back up, put them back in the hotel room. Yeah. That's why I said, you know what, I'm not bringing mine today because mm, there's another spot on that cue ball. I'm going to get that. I see that. <laughs> right right next to the blue. Yeah. Not a fan. <laughs> I gotta ask him where he got this stuff. You know, actually, we're going to have, uh, after this match, I'm gonna, I don't know if we have sleds or something. I'm going to wipe these. Wipe down the balls. I think they have a diamond polisher downstairs. Very nice shot by Zachary. That was a fabulous shot. Not so much unless this one gets quick. <coughs> He's looking at taking the five. Back cross. Don't. 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> don't move that camera. Think, yeah. <laughs> so, lady, our camera's up on one of the supports over on the other side. Obviously, they're, they're hard to move. But she's putting her hand on it like, oh, what is this? What's it? <laughs> don't. So he's going to come back across twice. Interesting. Wow. Wow. <coughs> Very well played. Very nicely done. Got that on the instant instant replay? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's not bad. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Apologize for that. Yeah, a little bit wide on that four ball. Nick elects to go, to go with the three rail on the three. What a shot. That was another fabulous shot by Zachary.
Nine. 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 <coughs> Upper left corner, banking it back. Oh. Four rail. Wow, nice. Wow. What a shot. Four railer. Four <laughs> railer. <coughs> Dead center. Bottom left, six four. A little bit short. Three to one. <coughs> Sachi end up scratching. He'll take one off for him. I just did. Seven in the same side. That's a quick turn of events right there. Mm -hmm. Three in the same side. <laughs> just keep <laughs> depositing just them. Put Put him in the bank account. Throw this. He's gonna have to throw this in a little bit. He did. Oh, too much though. Yeah. Good shot. Well, do you deposit the one in the corner? Draw it back to the middle of the table. Three rails on the three. That's a good shot, too. Yeah, absolutely. He just doesn't want to leave that three ball out in the middle of the table if he yeah, has a cue ball there. Yeah, if he pockets <coughs> feed on this three and leave it down by the one, it might mess up both of the balls. Ooh, hit that hard. Yeah, and he hit it center pocket. Wow. Three to three. What to do, what to do. All right. Try the one down in the lower left corner pocket and try to spin it just enough to get it down there and keep the cue ball up table. It's not a bad shot, actually. So he's going to try the three railer here. I think it's going to run into the eight and five if he if he doesn't if he overcuts it. Yeah. Maybe that was close. That's not bad. No. Nope. 
<coughs> but that one what? ball he is there. He is mixed five ball, some actually. He's perfectly lined up for the five ball. This this could be all she wrote for this match. That's one of them. Yep. Bottom right. I'm sorry. Bottom left. Eight ball. Got it. Oh, oh my. Wow. Yikes. Wow. Not a bad leave, though. <coughs> wow. How unfortunate is that? It hit a good speed, too. I don't think Zach's too unhappy about it. No. No. He seems okay with it. He's going to have to make this one ball. Oh, oh man, no. Man, that's the worst thing he could have done. And if that done. one ball gets out of the kitchen. Oh, boy. It's the worst thing he could have done. Yeah. Ball in hand on the one. Nick is licking his chops right now. Ball in hand on the three. Bottom right. Zach is probably like, woof, got away with one there. Upper left, he called. Yep. Seems to put a lot of spin on this. This one straightens out so much. <coughs> Might be the match right oh here. Boy. That and is it. Oops. There it is. All right. We're going to get set up for our next one. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, again, please, thank you to our sponsors. And also, if you get a chance, support our sponsors as much as you possibly can. Here they are once again, real quick before we get out of here and set up for our next match. There they are. Support them, please. We appreciate it. All right. We'll be back in a bit. <laughs> 